Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Wiseman. What is falling away? Remember, your soul must walk its own path. This means letting go of all the distractions, misbelief, and group thought that you have been taught by your culture and walking in a higher elevation. When you come into your true soul self, you won't be interested in what your culture is doing. Distractions, misbelief, and group thought that you have been taught by your culture will fall away. You will see behind the curtain. You will recognize the machinations as false and unimportant. One of the things that I found helped me to understand this idea of how to see the true soul self as apart from the mind ego personality that we have in the human lifetime is to do some work in past life regression. Um, when the minute you start understanding in past life regression, isn't hard, you know, it used to be older systems when this started to be pioneered, especially by hypnotherapists, um, you know, it used to be a quite a longer process. Like the work of Dolores can is amazing. And she would take people through some pretty lengthy regressions. Nowadays, what I find is you can go into past life regression really, really quickly. You just sort of go in and go back and ask to see other lifetimes. It's not a multiple hour thing. You can just go into meditation and do this. And in my experience in in kind of exploring this is there was a period of time where I was doing like a past life regression every day just to see like how many could I get to. And I started to realize like I could do past life regressions every day or multiple times a day for the rest of my life and I still wouldn't get to all of them. But what is interesting about going into past life regression is seeing yourself in a different time, different, usually different place in the world. Um, If you're female, you're going to be male or something different. If you're Caucasian, you're going to be a different race. Like if you're if just all of the scenarios of what you feel your life is now are going to be different in this past life. And yet even your mind ego personality is not going to be the same. It might have some similarities, but what you will feel if you do this practice is your soul self is the same. And you feel as you explore these different past lives, like, okay, totally different body, totally different situation. I have a different kind of personality. I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing something radically different. And yet my core, my true soul essence is the same. And as we start to understand, like, what is it, this, this, the heart being where the soul resides, the stillness of the heart, the nowness of the heart, the true soul self, not located in our being here, but, but this feeling that we feel that we understand with that cannot be denied. When we start to recognize that by looking at ourselves in all these different situations and recognizing the core self, then when we come back to this lifetime and we're looking around like, that's so silly or that makes no sense or the culture is telling me this and it, it just has no meaning to me because you know the essence of yourself. Again, it's you don't know the essence of your mind, ego, personality, because that is often changing different lifetimes. Sometimes there's some carryover, but over time that will shift. But the soul self is remaining. When you come into your true soul self, you won't be interested in what your culture is doing. You'll be on a different path. Um, And this is the idea of everything falls away. 
all these things that everyone's running around thinking are so important, it just won't matter. You will see behind the curtain, you will recognize the machinations of the culture as false and unimportant. So, and of course, once you get there, then the path is different and you have your own <laughs> series of challenges to work on, but um, goodness, what a better way to be than to just be you know, under the sway of something that doesn't even make sense. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'll be back next time.